Hello everybody, I'm Adrian Fernandez, MSP430 Product Marketing Engineer, and today I'm very excited to introduce our latest development kit coming out of the MSP430 team called the 430 Launchpad. Uh, again, the entire team is excited and very proud because the Launchpad development kit is the most complete, most affordable um, development tool that you'll, you'll find in the industry today. Uh, again, it's a complete hardware and software kit for just $4.30, and we're also providing free shipping to the TIE store as well. So we're pulling all the strings here at, at TI. Um, what I'd like to go through over this video is a quick unboxing, uh, essentially the first five minutes of owning a launch pad. So you went to the TIE store, you ordered the launch pad and leveraged the free shipping, so it just arrived at your porch, so you're pumped. So uh, you'll go ahead and, and open up the box, right? So within the box, the first thing you see is a launch pad uh, quick start guide. Um, so meet the launch pad. Basically four very concise steps on how to get started, where to download your free um, downloadable Code Composer Studio and also IR Embedded Workbench. Uh, these are two compilers and debuggers or, or IDEs that are uh, again available for download. These are the code limited versions, uh, but when interfaced with a value line microcontroller will run full featured. So again, that, that's all for free, available online. So quick start guide. Also within the box, inside this flappy here, got a few things. Uh, 32 kilohertz external crystal. This supplements the internal digitally controlled oscillator of the MSP430. Uh, value line microcontrollers, the uh, G2XX family, those run at 16 megahertz internally. Uh, what the 32 kilohertz external crystal allows you to do is to, uh, to supplement that internal signal and, and actually improve its accuracy. Additionally, the 32 kilohertz crystal can be used to drive internal peripherals within the value line microcontroller. So very cool, 32 kilohertz crystal. Also within the flap, you got a few other things. 10-pin uh, PCB connectors. We provide two pairs, a pair of male headers as well as a pair of female headers. Uh, they have 0.1 spacing between the pins, so very easy, very standard uh, size. Again, we have the male and the female, so this allows you to very easily interface external components with the launch pad or even plug in custom daughter cards that you may want to create to, uh, to expand the functionality of the launch pad board. So 10-pin PCB headers, two pairs. And uh, also within the flap, you've got your microcontroller. Uh, we, we actually provide two uh, MSP430 value line devices. This one in the bag is a G2211 device. Uh, this features an on-chip comparator. Uh, this one's flying solo within the bag because the G2231 device, which is actually pre-programmed with some demo functionality, uh, is, is pre-populated onto the launchpad board. So we'll, we'll go over that in a second. Um, also within the flap are two launchpad stickers. So uh, we're really driving the, the online community here. We've uh, created a full featured uh, Launchpad wiki page. Uh, so our goal there is to not only, uh, you know, for, for me or the uh, TI team to, to update it and, and contribute, but also the actual users of the Launchpad. So we can't wait to start interfacing with customers and, and creating solutions. So two Launchpad stickers. Uh, my goal is to, to hopefully see this, I guess, stuck onto someone's bumper one day uh, when I'm driving through the highway. So I promise I'll, I'll honk if I see a fellow, fellow Launchpadder on the, on the road. Also in the kit um, is the uh, mini USB cable. This allows you to interface directly with a PC. So this plugs into your USB port, this side plugs into the launch pad, supplying it power. It also allows you to communicate back and forth with a PC. Uh, therefore, you can, you can transfer code, transfer your solutions, debug it in real time, etc. So uh, mini USB cable. Um, last but not least, you have the uh, launch pad board itself within the baggie here. So I'll take it out of the bag and we'll go over some of the features. Uh, here's the launchpad board, uh, separated mostly into two sections. Top third of the board is your flash emulation tool. This is where most of the magic happens. This is where your programming, debugging, and, and PC communication occurs. Uh, as you can see here, this is where your mini USB cable allows you to plug, plug, uh, plug it in directly to a PC. Towards the bottom, bottom of the board is your prototyping area. Uh, you have the uh, dip target socket, supports up to 20 pins in the very center. Uh, allows you to interface any of the value line microcontrollers in the dip package with the launchpad. Uh, additionally, every single pin of the G2XX device is broken out for easy accessing and, and interfacing with uh, external components. Uh, and additionally, you have the uh, the pin or PCB connectors as well. So uh, that's all very 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 dandy. At the uh, bottom of the board are two programmable push buttons as well as two programmable LEDs. So um, in a heartbeat, that is the uh, the launchpad board. Again, you have onboard features as well as uh, a very expandable and very flexible dip target socket with the onboard flash emulation tool. So very very cool. Um, so that's the unboxing. Uh, I hope you guys check out the Launchpad Wiki. We've got a bunch of resources there. So uh, please feel free and, and, and also check out our second video where we'll be going over the, uh, the, the demo application that's actually programmed on the, the Value Line device. So thank you so much for hanging out, guys. Bye.